Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Omnicra Omni Factory. Alright, so uh, last episode I believe I was talking about setting up a rare earth processing line, which uh, I went ahead and did right here. So it's already pretty much consumed our rare earth. However, that being said, this centrifuge here is going to take in any rare earth on a high priority. It's going to centrifuge it, of course, spit out the results. See, uh, there's uh, cadmium, neodymium, all that good stuff here. That gets packaged and sent back into our system. Oh. Okay, so. Neodymium. You'll see here that is all counted for in dust form. But I also went ahead and I set up a neodymium recipe, which we which we can see right here. So I made a dedicated blast furnace for crafts. I might, we'll see how um, things go, but I might still end up making dedicated blast furnaces for certain ingots. Regardless. Um, right, so then I also went ahead and made the assembler the for extreme voltage. So there is that quest done. Okay. I didn't uh, pull out of the system till just now because I wanted to save it for the day. Okay, so mid game, there is the quest. We get, oh, nice 50 cents there. Uh, palladium, yeah, so we were working on that too. I also went and found that there is some palladium ore spawn in the world, in the overworld. It is very rare, but it's there. Okay, so I'm going to put this like right here. Now, we're going to want a CEF, of course. So how bad was this going to be? So we're going to need the green. Okay, good. It's already in there. We are going to need the end steel wire. Okay, so we need to set up that. Everything else here is good to go. All right, so we're going to grab the two. And the four. And the eight. And of course the 16, because we will need all that cabling, of course. Uh, off camera, just recently, a few minutes ago, I went and set up uh, more molecular assemblers as well as more interfaces. So that is convenient, if I don't say so myself. Just gonna go ahead and put all these in there. Okay, so now we should be good to request a EVCEF, yes, okay. And 16 times of insteel. Now we're not gonna be in EV for very long. We're gonna want, I think, a assembler and a electrolyzer as much, but that is gonna be it. Something tells me there's another machine that is either beneficial or kind of mandatory to make. Um, I don't know what that would be just yet, but we'll find out. Okay, so as for why we need the EV, we need, let's see, how do I, um, I think it's this. Yeah, so we're going to be centrifuging the endstone dust. We're going to get our helium, our tungstate, platinum, and sand. So the tungstate here, of course, it gets crapped into the main dust, and that dust gets electrolysized in an EV uh, maker here. And we get tungsten dust and lithium. But we will care about the tungsten here. Because with the tungsten, we're going to put it in our blast furnace. However, it also needs the next coil. Okay, so nichrome. We might as well get that started while we have the opportunity. Okay, so chrome ingot. Okay. I'm just trying to think how I did this before. I have Crow on craft. So I'm either going to have to have Chrome on auto passive or I'm going to have to have Nichrome on request. So. Yeah, this is interesting. 
Oh, uh, nichrome. So, okay. Nickel and chrome, of course. Now, I could put this into the EBF here. And that will start kicking up some ingots. Uh, right here. So the hot nichrome ingot, of course, takes the 2100k, which we should have. Oh, wait, how long does that take? 40 seconds? Okay, but that's HV, so... Okay, so we're still looking at 20 seconds per ingot there. I'm not mistaken. Oh, wait, where did I put the? Oh, there it is. Right. Okay. So that's still going to take some time. So then I think then I might just end up making a Chrome passive smelter. And a Nichrome. Well, I don't think Nichrome is going to be as essential to have on hand all the time. I think later on when we get into the realm of tungsten, then that's when we need, uh, you know, a, con a constant supply. Regardless, however, we'll just uh, play things by ear for the time being. So in that case, this might actually take a little bit of time. Wait, do I have night room now? Hey, look at that night room. Is that a quest, maybe? <phone rings> Hell yeah. So I'm just gonna go in, boop. I'm gonna get my wrench out and boop. Night room. Okay. So then, night room coils. Night room coil. So this is gonna be another recipe in the assembler. Uh, oops, the assembler. Okay, remove that, and bada boom. So now we need the uh, we need the uh, the two times recipe, and then the one times wire. There we go. Okay, so then wires. That is the wire, yes, and then wall, and coil. So let's see, how many coils are we looking at here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ninety plus sixteen, one hundred and six. So how much nichrome we need? Oh boy, that is not a small amount. Let me look at something here. Nichrome is going to get replaced by tungsten steel. How much nichrome are we talking, or how much material are we talking here? Uh, you know what I might just do? Might just make a separate blast furnace for the purpose of reaching tungsten steel. I mean, we're not really losing much. Here's what I might do. I might just, okay, I am going to probably make that dedicated blast furnace now. And then later on off camera, I will go about um, get, uh, uh, accruing some more chrome. But um, how long is this going to take? I might take a bit actually. Oh, we have some more nichrome in there. Still need more. Okay, no problem. Uh, oh yeah. That's the other thing I want to do. Was the, uh, processing of end stone. Let me think about, let me think of like, think of it like this. End stone. So if I took this and I miss... No, no, I'm sorry. The centrifuge is what I wanted. The centrifuge. So the centrifuge with the endstone dust. I could say screw it and go 
high voltage. And that would be quick enough, I think. So medium voltage, high voltage. That's a factor of four. So five seconds per centrifuge here. I mean, that's honestly just fine. So let's just go ahead and make a centrifuge and we'll see what kind of speed we're looking at here. All right, so the centrifuge might take a bit. Excuse me. Uh, can we upgrade the centrifuge at all? Yeah, we could. With the microprocessors. But at this point, I don't really expect we'll be in HV for very much longer. Hmm. Okay. So let me just do this. Like Chrome Centrifuge. So to remind myself of what we're doing. Oh, hey, there's a CEF right there. And I don't think there's a quest for that. Yeah. All right. So actually, since we have that, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh Oh yeah, I could probably take these out cuz I uh, moved the medium voltage to high voltage for the engravers. So what's this responsible for? SMDs. Okay. And that for the case for the holes and that's for chrome. This over here is the polyvinyl solidifier. Okay, so I might um, make some machines off camera then and replace this, all of this with high voltage. Meanwhile, I'm going to do a temporary room expansion here. And between episodes, I will pretty it up so it doesn't look so awkward. Okay, so let's see. Blank or a machine, and then CEF, which CEF is just going to go on the floor. That would be good to break this floor. There we go. All right, so that is going to be the beginning of our EV tower. Although, of course, now that I'm talking about replacing machines, it might be more ideal to wait till I get to EV and then start replacing stuff. That might take me quite a bit of time actually um, to do off camera. So uh, yeah, that'll be probably what I'll be doing. Okay, so now we just need the cables and the machine, of course. Do we have any cables yet? We have two. How is the electrolyzer? Wait. Oh, I didn't uh, pattern that yet, did I? Oh, there it is. Okay, so I can make this, actually. So let's make that. Uh, how is the centrifuge that we did craft for HV? Nope, it's still being crafted. Looks like it's stuck on something. Wires or ingots. Okay, I think maybe you're questing the EV here. Oh, the end steel. Let's see. End steel. That explains it. It's on the same line. Can I change things up real quick? Okay, no. Uh... Wait, that should have worked. I had to uh, move around some ingots there because I noticed that I did not, I, I did not want to have um, two parts of one chain on the same line. Okay, so that EV is almost done. The centrifuge is waiting on the circuits because... Right. 
The assembler. That's why I made the assembler. Oh, and it's right here. Silly me. So the micros... Micros can... Okay, soldier alloy. All right. So that would be beneficial then to get the uh, EV assembler up and running. So we're going to need a face. I think we have what we need. So boom and boom. Here's our EV assembler. And go to import here. And we don't have the bucket for the uh, soldering alloy. So there's that. And then um, I need an interface appropriately named EV micro circuits. Should have enough cable to reach. Although maybe not. Yeah, no, definitely not. Serious quartz does. Okay. Can I get any cable? About uh, just eight. Okay. So that's the thing. I need to go get some more Certus handled. So let's see. Omni. We have plenty of that. Certus, Quartz, or... Okay. So I'm going to go drop this into our... Or... Or... There we go. Our ore line, so I can get some more service going. I believe I made a autoclave for this, but uh, if not, I'll have to fix that. Okay, so there's our centrifuge, and did we get the electrolyzer? No, what was the uh, EV? So there is the descent grater. Okay, so back to the endstone issue. I didn't grab the. Uh, I use for that either. And stone, if I can spell correctly. Stone. Arm. Okay, we'll have to come back to the arm. We have the interface. We have that. Okay. So let me just go and hook this up real quick. Okay, so that's... That is the fluid. What? There we go. Okay, so that's that's there. So I just need to Oh. No. Okay, micro is what I wanted, right, okay. So we put the micro circuits in the top line. And there we go. So those are now separated. Here's our robot arm. Okay. So let's see, where do we have a free HV slot? Okay, not there. Uh, oops. Okay, this should do, I think. So, all right, we need an arm in, we need an import, we need that, we're going to hide that, put on the end stone. Okay. So, as you can see here, it is breaking down end stone into the items here, as well as a fluid output. Now... What I kind of wanted to do was to get multiple of these centrifuges running. In fact, it would probably have to go then over here. So as he blink machine. So I would have an, a tower of CEFs or a tower of Centrifuge is right here. Um, and what I want to do is be able to pipe in uh, 
and stone dust and pipe out fluids in a matter of a streamlined design. So what I might have to do here is I'll have to cut, get the other centrifuges crafted up, and we'll come back once I've figured out, or once I have everything ready, so that we can end the episode off at a good point. And the good thing about my design is that all four centrifuges, centrifugi, centrifuge, I don't know, all of the machines will be able to be stopped or the flow of materials will be stopped when we are at a certain point of endstone. Anyway, I will be back in a bit and we'll probably close off the episode after I get the tower all set up and good to go. Okay, back in a few. Okay, hey, welcome back everybody. All right, so uh, funny story. It looks like I had accidentally muted my microphone when I came back. So I'm uh, redubbing this. All right, so um, yeah, I'm just going to set up the centrifuges here. So we're going to be doing this in such a way that items are going to be piped in and out of the same interface and fluid in the same vein will be piped in and out as well. So right now you can see me, I'm just trying to figure out what I'm doing, how I'm going to position these interfaces. And I think this, yeah, this will do good. So this side is going to house the fluid, right? And the other side, obviously, will house the items. So I'm going to want to make it so that items come in and out on different channels. So I'm going to set the extract here to blue. Okay. And set the input to blue as well for each one of these. And for the output, I think I'll leave it on green. Okay, so it will take out on green and it would put back into our system on green and take out on blue. Now for this next part, I have a emitter here and this is going to obviously stop and this is going to emit a redstone when we have enough of a resource, in this case, tungstate. Um, so it, it doesn't run all the time. Right, so endstone. Am I going to use endstone as a, a bookmark? We'll see. Actually, yes, because the endstone goes into the centrifuges, so that makes sense in the end. Okay, so we need to hook up the interface here to our main network. It is not hooked up. Now it is. Okay, so we have a check of 2000 endstone. You want to turn it, you want the redstone signal to be on uh, when our stock is either under or over. I didn't catch the uh, emitter. Regardless, now the endstone dust is going into our centrifuges here, but it's not okay. Yeah, there we go. So I didn't have round robin on it, so it's only put into one machine. But now it is splitting the load, so we're generating our dust. It's also going to generate the fluid, the helium. And as you can see there, I check on the helium, but the fluid is not extracting just yet. I need to. Uh, set up fluid storage for helium. So we're gonna go ahead and grab a bucket and we're gonna get a 4K cell. All right, cool, cool. Looks like I have one already. Let's get that partitioned out. Oh, oh, that was the uh, XP for a second there. I thought it was a quest. Okay, so the helium drive is all set up. We'll grab a bucket of helium. Run back over to our front. Oh, I forgot to uh, partition the cell. That would help. That goes in there, that goes in there. Awesome. And then in the drive it goes. So now this should be able to deposit into our system. 
Make sure I have it on extract. There we go. Okay. So now the fluid is gone. Oh, shit. The helium got put in. We don't want insert on there. So let's take that out. Uh, let's see. I think I'm going to get a tank here in a second. Yep. Okay. So I'm going to remove the helium because it's not desirable to be in there. I don't think it'll do anything. But I don't want to risk it. All right, everything looks good to go. Fluid is coming out. Awesome. And uh, yeah, there we go, helium. And we'll drop the helium back in there so we don't have it in a tank. Put away some stuff here. Uh, all right, so what's next? It looks like the molecular assembler. All right, the tongue state. So the tongue state is going to have to go into the Electrolyzer? What is going on here? Ah, okay. So the hydrogen and tungstate will go into the electrolyzer and we get tungsten and lithium, as well as the uh, oxygen output. Tongue. Oh, right. Okay, I think I know what I'm doing here. So what I'm trying to do is get the uh, tiny piles of tongue state to be compressed so that we don't have to do it. Um, well, I'm not sure where I was going with that thought. Regardless, uh, we just want to make sure that the tungstate is in big block, big dust form so that it can go into the electrolyzer. Right now we're waiting for some cable just in case, cause I don't think I have cable down there by the, uh, or processing room. Still cooking along. Okay. So let's drop down to the uh, packager we have. So we're going to put the bus here. And we're going to say tungsten goes in there. Put a high priority and hook it up with cable. Okay, so it should be going in there, at least now that this is set up. But it's not dropping any in there right now. I think I'm going to try and uh, extract and then put it back in there. One thing that will probably be useful is that I set the storage bus to insert only. I'm pretty up. Oh, yeah, there we go. So the tongue steak moved into the packager, but it looks like I forgot that the small piles don't go into that one. It's the tiny piles that go into that packager. So I'm going to remove this. Okay. I'm going to come over here to this packager. And this is the packager that I need to put the tongue state into, essentially. Now, I have put a bus on this machine directly, but I think moment in a moment, I'm going to grab a steel chest. But first things first, I need to make sure I have the circuit for it. I believe two was the exact number we wanted. Actually, the tongue state is configured. Priority high is a good idea too. Uh, no, insert. So it's not putting anything in there right now, but. Once I put the dust into an interface, then it, it dropped into the packager here. And we want to output back into our system. And there it goes. Sweet. So the tongue state will now be in big block form. Tongue state. Yeah. So right now I'm just depositing all the small piles and it's at this point I realized that 
if I put the small pile in there, it won't all go into that machine. So what am I doing here? I do apologize for this uh, posted dub. Sometimes I just mute the microphone on OBS just in case I go watch some other thing while I wait for items to craft or this and that. Okay, so we're grabbing some tungsten here. Oh, okay, I think I'm using tungsten then as a, uh, a uh, benchmark. That's the word I was looking for. That way it will keep running until we have enough tungsten that we want. It's like I'm grabbing the chest here, but for what purpose? I'm not sure just yet. I didn't filter. Oh, I think I finally hooked. I think I finally put two and two together. What I'm basically going to be doing here is setting up. Wait, what now? All right, it's been good, everybody, but we need to wrap this up. I will see you all in the next one. Ta-ta for now.